Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault, and today I'm coming to you with a video that I have been waiting to make for a very, very long time, and I'm very excited to be making it today. I finally got my fourth tax stamp in on the last of my Mark 18 builds, and I got my whole collection here together, and I kind of want to show it off. This is also a video that many people that follow my channel have been asking me to make. Many people discovered my channel through my Mark 18 clone build videos, but I have four Mark 18s, and this is going to be simply a show and tell video. So before I get into this, I just want to say, I'm showing these off because number one, the government already knows I have them. Every time I make these videos, people go, why do you put it out there about what you have? Well, I have a tax stamp on each one of these guns. So the government already knows. But also, I want to address any clone clown out there. And by clone clown, I mean anybody that looks at my rifles and say, that's completely wrong, that's completely trash, you need this, that, blah, 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 and write some type of angry comment. If you want to complain about my collection or tell me how I'm wrong, I need you to contact me at texasgunvault.gmail.com and show me your collection. Because while normally I'm pretty humble, on this one, I'm gonna say my collection is better than yours. So let's go right to the first gun here of my collection. This is my Colt Mark 18 Mod Zero clone build. Everything on this gun is a Colt or Knight's Armament or an LMT, which is what the uh, rear sight is. So all the parts on this are sourced as close as I can possibly get. Small differences between a real Mark 18 and this gun, obviously, is this is not full auto. This is just a semi-automatic rifle. And I'm using an A2 style lower receiver than an M16 A1 style lower receiver. I can't get one that is marked Colt, but this is a Colt M4 carbine marked lower receiver. So it's about as close as I can get. It has a Colt 10.3 inch barrel, nice armament rail system. Everything on this is clone correct, including the A1 grip, I have the LMT soap mod stock, and most importantly, I have the engraving on the lower receiver done by Ident Marking Services out in Rockwall, Texas. And I also have the CQD sling swivels. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else on this gun that really makes it special. Oh yeah, I have the PRI Gas Buster charging handle with the military latch. So this is a pretty darn close Mark 18 Mod Zero build. Then I have my Mark 18 Mod Zero inspired build. Now, this is not designed to be clone correct. It's supposed to look like a Mark 18, but be kind of a modern version of it. Now, this is an all LMT gun, all Lewis machine and tool. So I have a Lewis machine and tool, Mars LS lower. So it has all the ambi controls. It's the latest and greatest from LMT. The upper receiver is their CQB upper with a 10.5 inch barrel. Now some people are going to say that is not clone correct, but believe it or not, Carl Lewis of LMT helped design the Mark 18. And in fact, some of the early guns had the 10.5 inch barrel from LMT. So this is still clone correct. Has a PNS products rail system, which is a government contract rail system here, LMT rear sight. Of course, it has the LMT soap mod stock on it. So this looks like a Mark 18 Mod Zero, feels like a Mark 18 Mod Zero. Uh, it has a really nice LMT grip though. I didn't want to change that out after I purchased this lower receiver. I really like this. So it looks like a Mark 18, about the same size, only a little bit longer in the barrel, but this is my Mark 18 Mod Zero inspired build. I really like it, all LMT. Then we have, I guess the gun that I'm gonna call the party favor, because this is the gun that a lot of people have come to my channel and enjoyed. This is my Mark 18 Mod 1 Block 2 build with all the accessories. And I'm telling you, I went all out on this bad boy. From all the accessories, as I mentioned, to all of the engravings, I have the Navy 18-1 over here. I have all of the UID tags on both sides, the upper and the lower receiver. I had a serial number engraved just like the real Mark 18s here on the upper. Daniel Defense rail system. Everything on this gun pretty much has an NSN number. Now there are a few things that are not correct, but it's only because I can't get them as a civilian. Once again, this is not full auto. So people th that say that's not a Mark 18 clone because it's not full auto. 
I'm a civilian, I can't get that. Also, my PEC-15 is not a real PEC-15 in the sense that it has all the high power settings. This is the one that you get from Insight Technologies that only has the low power settings. It's really hard to get the high power ones as a civilian. I have the Knight's Armament backup sights, both front and rear. I have the Taup front sight, uh, which is a little bit harder to get. I have a Surefire Scout light on the side. And every one of these guns here does have a Knight's Armament flash hider on it. So I can add, of course, the NT4 suppressor. So this is the kind of the Mark 18 suppressor first and foremost. And then later they went to Surefires. But this is the OG of the Mark 18 suppressors, which was really difficult for me to find. They don't make many of these. And that's really cool. So this is my gun that every time somebody comes over to my house, they want to see. Every time somebody sees my channel, they ask me, can you make another video with this particular build? And here it is, my Mark 18 Mod 1 clone. Everything on this is Colt. In fact, it's even, let me see what it says here, government property or property of US government, M4A1 carbine. So it has that kind of special limited edition Colt lower. And the lower receivers on this go for about $2,000 stripped just to get that marking. Uh, everything else on this, I think, is government contract. Like this right here is a B5 Systems soap mod stock. And yes, they did provide stocks to the US Navy. This one here is Coyote Tan. And it is not marked with their name, but it is marked with the cage code on the back here. So this is a government overrun stock. All of the other accessories, as you can see, is in the tan, the EOTech, and the magnifier. Absolutely love this gun. Spent a lot of time and money sourcing all of the correct parts for it. And then finally, I have my Mark 18 Mod 1 inspired build. Let me get that put up there. And here we go. This is based off of a Knight's Armament SR-15 lower receiver. It's marked Stoner Rifle 15. And the upper receiver is a stock Daniel Defense Mark 18 upper. So it has the same rail system as the other gun. I do have some Knight's Armament backup sights. Obviously I'm running an aim point on this gun. But this one's kind of a Mark 18 Mod 1 inspired build. Obviously it has the Soap Mod stock and all of the other kind of accessories and parts that you would find, like for example, the CQD sling swivel. I do have the Tango Down. This is the stubby vertical foregrip. The other one has the full size. This is the one that has the NSN number. This one doesn't, but I kind of wanted the shorter one for this particular gun. It's just a really cool rifle. This one shoots absolutely amazing. So as I said, this is a nice armament lower receiver with a Daniel Defense Mark 18 upper receiver. And there you go. So that is my Mark 18 collection in a nutshell. There you go. I'm real proud of these guns. These things are awesome. And of course, I will shoot my inspired builds. But when it comes to my clone builds, I pretty much keep these as is and I don't fire them too much. Yes, I am a collector and yes, I am a geek. So get over it. Yes, I have guns I don't shoot that are really nice. And that's just the way it is. It's my money, my guns don't complain. If you want one like this to go shoot, build it yourself. There you go. So that is my Mark 18 collection. You guys have been asking me for this. And I finally got all four built, assembled, got tax stamps for all of them, got the suppressor. I really would like to get one of those suppressors in black as well to go on the Mod Zeros. So there you go. My Mark 18 collection. What do you guys think? And as I said, if you want to criticize me, all I ask is that you send me pictures of your Mark 18 to texasgunvault at gmail.com before you post on this video telling me how bad these are, how I wasted my money, and how they're all wrong. Because most of the time when people complain about these, all they have is some type of like aero precision lower or a Palmetto State lower with some type of 10.5 inch barrel and say, it's my Mark 18, look at me. No, you don't have a Mark 18. These are Mark 18s. Well, there you go. I know I'm not being humble in this video, but that's okay. I gotta do that sometimes. Life is awesome, life is blessed, and I've worked very, very hard to accumulate these four awesome rifles, and I'm very proud of them. So I hope you can appreciate that. All right, so let me know what you think. Am I a geek? Well, I think I am. Let me know in the comment section below, and as always, 
Thanks for watching.